This is what you are saying. What do you think? It's not a counter question. What do you think? It's questionable now. Yeah, really? Yeah. It's you, sure? you are sure? Yeah. What will you do with enlightenment? So far? Assuming for a moment that there is such a thing as enlightenment, what will you do with it? How is it going to help you? Hmm? You can set up a holy business. That's what everybody has done. <laughs> well, missionary and make money. <coughs> but, uh, you can make money in uh, other way. They're like that uh, the girl there in the story. Hmm? She was very enlightened. Yes, obviously. Very. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very serious. What will you do with it? I have the vaguest idea. Why have you been interested in that subject? Most of I was looking for permanent pleasure. Yes. Mm. Have you succeeded? No. No? But why you are still trying? I'm not. Come off it, mate. Who <laughs> <laughs> are you kidding? <clears throat> you know, the That's problem with this enlightenment is if if I were enlightened, is the grammar correct? If, if, mm -hmm. huh? mm -hmm. is it correct? All your problems would be solved. Hmm? That's the reason why you are interested. God, truth, reality, enlightenment, liberation, transformation, radical or otherwise. You know, you want that so that you can solve these problems. Mm -hmm. huh? yeah. That's why you want it. But never occurs to you that it is the demand for that is the one that is responsible for all your problems. It is that that is creating all these problems. Are you ready to accept that? Apart from that, you see, that's uh, the ultimate pleasure and all that is romantic, poetic thing. I'm not asking you to settle for this. Accept this, it has no meaning. There's no way you can accept. You may say, I have accepted it, but actually you cannot accept this. Why not? Hmm? Why not? Then you wouldn't search for anything. This is it. It can't be anything other than what it is. Mm -hmm. This is the only reality. <coughs> huh? And there is no other reality. That reality created by your uh, holy hookers. Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> Jim and Tammy Baker, for example. They are very successful people. Mm -hmm. Try and buy a Rolls Royce car or any other thing. Some joker comes here and promises enlightenment. He has 98 or 99 Rolls Royce cars. Mm -hmm. So they all thrive on the gullibility and credibility of the people. My question is, why are we gullible? Why are we? Because uh, we want permanent happiness. Huh? We want permanent happiness. But you don't even know what happiness is. Right, but it'll be. Do you know? We bought the idea. You seem to know. You really don't know what happiness is. And you are asking for permanent happiness. So, I really don't know what okay, happiness so is. We're looking you for know the, what will give you happiness. We're looking for an end of problems. Is that it? Hmm? We're looking for... I don't know what you are looking for. I want to know from you. I have nothing to say. You are asking all those questions. I also ask these questions. And I thought I, had, I would get all the answers there. So they, they misled me, misguided me, and all that, you see. I ended up a misguided, misled, misfed person. I never got anything from them. Hmm? I can't say that uh, I am enlightened now, you see. It has nothing to do with it. Sorry. What is the question again? Well, 